hello everyone if you remember we already discuss about the rip i hope you remember we are doing the asa firewall in that one before we configure the static route after that we learn how we can configure the dynamic route in our previous class we configured the rip i hope you remember if you did not watch the previous video you can go and watch that one in our last video what we done we configured the rip we learn how we can configure the rip in our asa firewall so now we are going to remove the rip and after that we are going to configure the any other routing protocol maybe we will configure the eigrp or ospf so we are going to learn how we can configure other routing protocol so what i will do first of all let me open the console of all this device this is a asa firewall console just now i started it will take some time to load this one meanwhile let me power on all the devices and take the console of all the devices so let me take the r1 okay this is the r1 router r1 console of r1 let me take console of r2 also i will take the console of r3 also we are going to take the console of all the router so we can remove the rip before we configure rip now i am going to remove the rip after that i am going to configure the eigrp we can configure okay we can configure eigrp ospf and then we can check the ipsla how we can configure and we will learn how we can do the redistribution also in the asa firewall so let me do here first of all let me write here show ip route let me check which routing protocol is there here this is the r1 still we don't have anything in the r1 so let's see in the r2 what i have show ip route i think before maybe i remove anyhow let's see if rip is there we need to remove if we maybe we did not save so that's why we don't have anyhow we will see now if we have i will remove if we don't have then we will configure the eagrp so let me write here first of all let me write show ip root if you see i am having here default root this is r1 r4 and r2 so let me remove this default also because we are going to configure the which uh, routing protocol eigrp we are going to configure so i am removing the static route okay whatever static route that is the default route is configured here here i am going to remove that one i remove this one from router r4 and if you check here you will not get the default route show ip route if you see you don't have any default route here in the r4 let me check in r3 also we have the default route so let me remove here also so i will go here what i am doing see this is a 0.0.0, .0 with zero subnet mask next hop is this one so i am writing same thing i am writing no in the front of that one so i can remove the default route in the router okay show ip route and i check i don't have any default route here i check in the r2 we don't have any routing protocol nothing is working here also in r1 also if you want you can write show ip protocol to check is there any protocol here we have the rip if you see rip we have here so what i will do i will write here uh, like uh, config t router i will go here i will write no router rip okay i write no router rip so rip will be removed from here let me check show ip protocol if i see no protocol is running in the r1 let me check in the r2 do we have any routing protocol here show ip protocol here also rip is working i will write here no router rip so i remove the rip here also in the r2 let me check here show protocol show ip protocol here also here we have anything nothing right we don't have any protocol here if you want i will write no router rip but we don't have anything here in the r3 and in r4 show ip protocol let me check nothing is there here also okay so now we are going to configure the eagrp i need to check in the asa firewall also so i will write here show uh show root okay if i check i have the two root from the rip so i will remove the rip here i have rip here configure if you see this is a rip so i need to remove this rip so what i will do i will write no router rip now i remove the rip or if you want to remove you have one more method also you can write clear clear configuration router rip if you do this one also clear configuration router if i i forget write r here okay if you write like this it will clear also this way also we can clear or you can write no also so now we are going to check show i show protocol 
we don't have anything here or if you are confused here let me show you another way i will write here show root you can check we are not getting anything from the rip okay i will save now and now we are going to configure the eigrp so how we are going to configure eigrp in the asa just go in the global configuration mode as i go here i go inside the global configuration mode after that i will write router okay router eigrp and whatever the as number i am using one and then i will give here no auto summary no auto summary and then network and you can give the network id i want to advertise in all interface of my uh, asa firewall so i will write network 0.0.0.0 so it will advertise in all my asa firewall interface i have four interface if you see here i am using how many interface here i am using only four interface if you see here in the asa firewall i am using this 1 2 3 4 so this all interface will be having the eagrp now because i put this command network 0.0.0 but don't do this in the production network if you are doing for lab purpose you can use this command but in the real scenario you need to write the network id here okay because maybe some interface we don't want to enable some interface we don't want to enable so don't use this in the production network only for the lab purpose use this one now let me go to the r1 and do the eagrp configuration in r1 so what i will do i will go here config t and then write, i will write router eagrp 1 no auto summary then network i will give same like 0.0.0 because i want to advertise all the interface because here if you see i want to enable the eagrp in this interface and also in this loopback so if i write 0.0.0 it will enable all the interface whatever interface is active here it will enable in that interface so this we can do for the lab purpose but don't do this one in the production network if you want to do in the production network write the network id so i done r1 i finish let me do in the auto also i will write here router eagrp1 no auto summary network 0.0.0.0 okay 0.0 finish and then i will go in the r3 i will write here router eagrp1 no auto summary network 0.0.0 okay and then we will go for r4 also in r4 also we will do the configuration we will write router eigrp1 as number we are using one no auto summary no auto summary and then network 0.0.0 okay so i enable in the all four routers if you see now we can check i am getting the route from the different uh, routers or not i will write show show ip route if you see i am getting the route from the eigrp this d if you see this d is nothing but eagrp if you see this is a eagrp okay or if you want to see in more detail i write show ip root eagrp okay so this is the root i am learning from the eagrp 2. dot this one from where i am getting this 2. dot network if you see 2. dot network i am getting from this router and i am getting 3. dot network from this router i am getting this 4. dot network from this router okay and the other interface whatever is connected this one this one this one also i am getting that information if you want i can ping also if you see here i can write uh, ping 2.2.2.2 it will work if you want to ping 3.3.3 it will work because we configure the dynamic routing protocol okay it is working and then if you want to ping the 4.4.4 also it will work 4.4.4 it is working and if you want to check inside the isa firewall you can check here also you will have the root in in the firewall if you want to check you will write show root no need to write show ip as we are doing show ip root but here in the isa firewall no need to write ip just write show root when you write show root you can check you are learning this root d is nothing but eigrp 1 2 3 4 so we learn this four root from the eigrp so we configure the eigrp in this class what we learn how we can configure the eigrp in the asa firewall and all other router after that we are pinging from here to here here to here here to here it is working perfectly because this is a security level high this is a low so traffic will flow from high to low so no issue it will work 
but if you ping from here to here it will not work okay we need to configure acl to allow the communication from security level 0 to high level we need to do the acl still we did not done the acl later we are going to see that one okay now what we done we enable the eagrp in our next class we are going to do the ospf okay thank you bye